Well, if you've clicked this video, that means that your computer has gone kaput and you need my help. Well, stick around. I'll help you. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I am Gen X, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get that slow computer moving fast again for you. There's many reasons why your computer is going to be running slow, mostly because it's running programs in the background you don't want running, but also because it runs updates in the background when you don't want your updates running. I'm going to take you in this video step by step, and we're going to get that computer of yours running just like brand new. If this video helps you out at all, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. It helps my channel grow way more than you know. I really do appreciate it a lot. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's show you how to do this. All right, to get started, we're going to check out what programs are starting up with your computer when you turn it on. What you're going to want to do is go down to the search box and type in system and select system configuration. Once you're on this screen, go ahead and select the startup tab. Then select open task manager. Once you're on this screen, it'll show you every single program that wants to start up or is starting up with your computer when you turn it on. If you see anything on this list that isn't supposed to be here, simply go over here, select it, and then disable down here. Make sure that you never disable anything that has to do with your system like audio or a video card. So to be clear, everything on this list should be disabled unless you want it to start up with your computer when you turn it on. When you're done making changes, go ahead and close out that window. All right, the next thing you're going to want to do is go over to the services tab. Services is another name for any type of an application or program that runs with your computer. The first thing you're going to want to do is select hide all Microsoft services. That way you don't accidentally disable something you're not supposed to. Next, you want to go through and scroll through this entire list and make sure that you uncheck anything that you don't want starting up with your computer when you turn it on. When going through this list, be very careful that you don't uncheck anything that has to do with your actual computer, like your video card or your audio or your processor. If you ever have any questions about any of these, about which ones you should disable or not, go ahead and ask Google which one they are and if it's OK to uncheck it or not. That way you don't accidentally turn off something you're not supposed to. So again, you're going to go through and uncheck everything on this list that you do not want starting with your computer, and you're not going to uncheck anything if you're unsure without asking Google first. When you're done making the changes, click Apply, click OK, and then if you're prompted to restart, don't restart, select Exit Without Restart. We got more work to do. Next, you're going to go down into the search and type in Update, and then select Check for Updates. Once you're on this screen, you're going to want to select check for updates and let your computer run any of the updates that are ready to go. Depending on how slow your computer is, this might take a few minutes. Your installs might stall out for a while. Don't worry about it. Just be patient with your computer in this process. Once it's done updating, you might be prompted to restart your computer. Do not restart now. We are not finished. Go ahead and select Advanced Options. Here on the Advanced Options page, you want to select a date that you want your computer to check for updates. Otherwise, your computer will check for updates every two hours while your computer is on. That's half the reason why your computer is running as slow as it is, is because it's checking for updates nonstop. So you select a date when you're not going to be using your computer when your computer will be on and it will run the updates for you when you're not using your computer and it won't slow you down while you're at work. I like to choose Sundays because I'm never on the computer Sundays. I'm with family. When you're done selecting your update time, go ahead and close the window. Next thing you're going to do is go down into the search and type in run and select the run system. Then type in temp and select OK. Once you're in your temp folder, go ahead and select everything in it and right click it and select delete. Sometimes files are in use and you won't be able to delete them. So go ahead and select do this for all current items and select skip. Once you're done in this window, go ahead and close it out. Next, go ahead back down into search and type run again and select the run system. Then type percentage sign 
temp percentage sign, then select OK. Do the same thing that you did in the other temp folder, select everything, right click, and select delete. Again, some folders might be in use, so you'll have to select do this for all current items, and then select skip. Once you're done deleting everything that you can in that folder, go ahead and close it out. All right, and the very last thing that we're gonna do, go back down into the search, type disk, and select disk cleanup. By default, it should be set on your Windows drive, so just select OK. Once you're on your disk cleanup, go ahead and select clean up system files. Again, select OK on the drive. Once your disk cleanup opens back up, make sure that all of these boxes on the left are checked and select OK. Then select delete files. Depending on how slow your computer is or how many backed up files you're deleting, this might take a few minutes. When that is done, to finish off the process, go ahead down to your start menu, select your power option, and then select restart computer. Well, that's it, everybody. It's as easy as that to get your computer set up and running quick again. If you have any questions, just light up that comment section below. And if the video helped you out, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you next time. And remember, don't be toxic. Spread positivity.